Hey everyone, I'm here to talk about the rastered vector plugin by us at Cam Solutions. Its purpose is to import images into GibbsCam and create wireframe geometry based on them. I already have it installed, so I'll give you a little example. And I can find the command in the plugins menu by default, but that command can be moved around the interface or the icon can be smaller, text can be removed, so anything that a regular GibbsCam command can do. I'll run that to get the rastered vector dialog, and I'm going to choose to import an image. I have a logo, which is very common, but this could be whatever image you want to try. And when I import that, it'll trace it and create the geometry, and it'll be the same geometry as if I had made it myself. So the import's complete here. And now I can go ahead and do whatever I want to it. So depending on the image, you may want to clean it up a bit. I've got some feathering going on here, so I'm just going to get rid of that. I'll delete this part. Throw that back in. That's looking a lot cleaner. I know that this imported quite big too. It's about 50 inches across. So I'm going to go ahead and scale that. Get it a little smaller there. Maybe put in my new stock size. And it'll depend on the image, how big it comes in. And you can do the math to get the scaling proper. Turn that on and I have my stock in there now. Maybe I want to move it a little bit, so I can go ahead and just use translate like usual. And when I'm ready to go, I can add whatever toolpath to it. In this case, I'll just do an engraving style contour on center line. Pick it all. And do it. And I'll do a little rendering here. And there it is, tracing out or engraving our Cam Solutions logo. So what you import, again, it could be a picture, it could be a logo, some kind of serial numbers. So I'll talk about that more, as well as the installation uh, later in this video. The image that you import obviously has an impact on the result that you get. Raster to Vector works on contrast, so a perfectly black logo on a white background should result in a tracing of the outline. But even then, sometimes the edges of the logo will be feathered slightly. Or like in the example you just saw, the color won't be solid enough, and so it results in a little extra geometry that you may or may not want to delete before you work with it. And then when it comes to a picture, of course it depends on the picture, but it also depends on the resolution of the picture. So I have an old Gibbscam poster here, and this one is at this smaller resolution. And I have the same poster at a larger resolution, which raster to vector will have more details to pull from. And if I look on the Gibbs side, you can see the results. There's the smaller resolution, and there's the bigger resolution. So on the smaller resolution, there's less detail. You can't quite read things as well. And when you look at the larger resolution, then you can see that there's more detail. And again, it will depend on the picture, but it gives you something to play with. And some people will want to make it smaller for that effect and some people will want to make it bigger and I'd also like to note that all of these examples I have the points turned off so there are points that exist but sometimes turning them off just gives you a little more clarity on what you're getting if you're looking to try or buy raster to vector there's a couple things I'll mention you can go to our website at camsolutions.ca and in the download section 
there are two raster to vector installers available. The first one's for the older interface, so before Gibbs Cam 12, when they change to this customizable interface. So that will be the only one that works on those older versions, but that older version of raster to vector will work on the newer Gibbs Cam versions as well. And then the version 2 installer will be just for this new interface, and that's the one that has the customizable command that you can move around and resize. So, you know, a few more bells, bells and whistles, but the way that it works is very much the same. Once you download and run those files, the installation's pretty typical, but sometimes it's a little murky as to what folder to pick. So you want to pick the main version folder like you see here. A lot of people will pick the plugins folder that's inside that since it is a plugin. But if you've done that, you've gone too far. You just want to pick the folder that has the version number on it. Press OK so it looks like this. And that should assure that the files go in the right spot. And after the installation's done, you should be able to open up Gibbscam. And depending on the version, uh, they're both going to be in the plugins menu. So the old interface also had a plugins menu. It's just text, but you'll find it in there and it'll be called Cam Solutions Import Image. If you installed that older version of Raster to Vector into this new interface, then you'll still find that same thing, but it'll be in this Legacy Plugins section. And then if you're using the brand new version 2 installer, you should see it by default down here in this Camp Solutions section. And again, if you customize your interface, you can move it around to wherever you'd like. When you launch that for the first time, if you don't have a license already, then you're going to see this, where you can't import yet. So you just need to press the license button, and then you'll get this dialog. And what you need to do is leave this dialog open. As it says here, it will generate a new code every time you open it. So you need to send this code to us somehow, whether you're calling in or emailing it. And then we'll be able to give you an activation code for either a trial or production license. And so if you send that number and then you close it and then open it again, then we'll have to send a new matching number for the new code that it generates. Once you get the activation code, you'll be able to put it in here and activate, and you'll be good to go and use raster to vector with the import button. Hopefully all of this helps and you've enjoyed seeing these examples and I'll see you again next time.